Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Kathy. Welcome to Yearn with Heart. And this is a card from Gather and Dwell. And yes, I do love you more than hot chocolate. This will be one of the items in uh, one of the two presents that are being drawn for on the 25th, but I thought it would be cute to just let you all know how much I appreciate you being here and how much I appreciate you being part of Diane and my Christmas in July event. So thank you. Very happy that you're here and hoping that you're finding something new and interesting each day during this event, um, both here and on my bathtub, my pink bathtub knits. Um, for anybody who's new, just to let you know, my yarny friend Diane invited me to join her in this fun yarn exchange and I was definitely in. If it sounds like fun, count me in. As of today, there are 16 days until the 25th of July and I hope you've been joining Diane and my pink bathtub knits and enjoying the videos here too. So warm welcome to you all. Um, today there will be yarn to add to the non-wool box and chances to enter both the wool and non-wool prize wheels. Also I will share one of the ways that I spark my cre creativity when it comes to making things for any holiday not just Christmas, any holiday. Uh, next video, I will share another of the ways that I do that. Um, my friend Diane opened another gift for me on her channel yesterday, and you can find a link to her channel below in the description box. Today is a time for me to open another surprise from her, and Today, I will show a couple of the finished items that I've been busy with. Those are all crochet items this time. I do knit sometimes too, but for today, they will be crochet ones. Um, just to change things up, let's start with the Gather and Dwell Advent activity for today. Uh, yeah. Last day, it was to talk about cheesy holiday movies. And thank you for sharing your cheesy holiday movie ideas in the, the comments. There will be a list of nine of them in the description box, the ones that you all shared. So when the weather gets cold and we want to snoodle into blankets and enjoy some movie fun, there is a list of recommended cheesy movies for us to um, enjoy, and those will be in the description box. So let's give this a shake and pick today's card and see if we might find another fun activity to try. Let's see what this one says. Do something kind for a neighbor. Mm -hmm. So that's what this one. And these are, again, an uh, advent that came from uh, Gather and Well. So on the back, I write something on the back of it as well. And I, what will I do? I think probably... We have um, a food bank, and I think probably what I will do is bring some food. Maybe I'll check and see what's on sale at the grocery store. 
this coming week and pick a few things that I can give to the food bank. So that was, um, that's doing something kind for a neighbor, maybe someone I won't meet in person, but it will be someone who I'm sure will enjoy uh, some kindness. So there we go. And that was our activity from the Advent activity um, for today. Now it's time to show the next item that will be part of the 300 subscriber prizes to show another one that will be added to the non-wall box. For anyone who's new to watching, the rules about these, um, everything about that is typed in the description box. And today's gift is a wrapped present. So the reason that this is a wrapped present is that on a previous giveaway, the person who won that giveaway emailed back and forth with me. She was so very happy that she won, yet she wanted me to share the love. And by that, she wanted me to include her winnings in a future prize on this channel. So the next two gifts of yarn, today's, and the one on July 11th are therefore shared with you from the very generous Granny Annie Creates. So on her channel, um, she's recently been designing uh, lovely granny squares as part of a crochet along. I love making granny squares and I make blankets with a number of granny squares. So I'm quite likely going to be using some of those from on her channel in a future blanket. And that would be one that I make and donate. So I will link Granny Annie's channel below in the description box so you can find her and see some of those granny squares. So some hints about this non-wool item. There are two different skeins. One, one is a skein that is 100% cotton and multicolored. The other is hand dyed. It is 50% cotton and 50% bamboo. It comes with a hand, a stitch marker with a handmade bead and it's all by the talented Dawn Erin Loving Hand Creations. Uh, many of you might have heard of Dawn Erin before and will know how kind-hearted and multi-talented she is. I, I was recently messaging with Dawn Erin and found out she has Halloween Advents that she is offering and she might still have one or two Advents for sale. So if you'd like to check into it, there is a post on her community page and I will link her YouTube channel in the description box. So that's a way for you to check into that if you'd like. So this is the non-wool item that's being added to that prize box. And to enter for each of those two draws, Today's secret word, you should use the word bell in a comment. And to, the, well, yeah, you should, for the wool draw, you should use the word bell in a comment. And for the non-wool draw, you should use the word stocking in a 
in there. And if you would like your name to be on both wheels, then absolutely feel free to use both words in your comment. So, and the draws for the two winners will be on the 25th of July. You can check back on July 11th as I will show another wrapped item, Compliments of Granny Annie, and that will be part of the wool gift on that day. And now it's time to open a present from Diane. So today is present number four from Diane. There we go. I don't think I have my scissors here again today. I forgot that. So there will be a little bit of crinkling. And I'll let you go. You will have the first peek. And there's two of these. This is Red Heart Super Saver, uh, five ounces, 236 yards, 215 meters. And the color is Retro Stripe. Oh, I like that. Wonderful, Diane. Thank you. Oh boy, this will be so pretty in um, a blanket for a young person. Yeah, I love that. Thanks, Diane. I love popping colors like this. Yeah. So tomorrow, another gift from me is on Diane's channel, and her link is in the description box. And I hope you'll visit each of us throughout July, from now till July 25th. Um, I have some finished crocheted items to show. And these items are part of the crochet along for a cause. So if you participate in that crochet along, as you download the hat patterns that you're interested in making, you pledge to donate one or more of that hat to a local organization. This is uh, the first one that I made this week. It's a top knot baby beanie. Um, I used Mary Maxim Starlet for the white and I can't I can't say the name of this multicolored one. It's spelled E-R-S-U-R. -S it was a sample in the clear water color. I got that from um, I got that from Cambridge Fibers. I think it's very similar to my favorite Bernat Giggles, which is no longer available. And the dark blue also came from Cambridge Fibers in one of their uh, what's called tangle bags of yarn because they, if they can offer large bags of yarn that are uh, just a little bit difficult to wind, but are good value and small quantities of yarns that come in a large clear bag. So, yeah, so that was the yarn I used. I used a five millimeter hook 
and this pattern is by Brienne from Hooked on Homemade Happiness. The second hat that I made, again, it's by Brienne from Hooked on Homemade Happiness, and it is part of the uh, Crochet Along for a Cause event. This is the Grid Beanie. I used Bon Bon Classic and I think the color Juniper and a five millimeter hook. And both of these I made pretty much according to the pattern as far as size. Sometimes I adjust the size, but these I made pretty similar to the size. And to go with this one, I used some of the Tangle Bag yarn from um, Cambridge Fibers. This one, um, let's see, one second. Yeah, this one is my own pattern, just using a simple stitch, which was double crochet in the back loop. Um, I used a five millimeter hook and again, tangle bag yarn. I didn't measure to see how long it was, but I think the width is about uh, seven inches in the width of the scarf. And I'll just stand so you can see, get an idea of the length. I thought it was an okay match because some of, ooh, well, that was almost an accident. Um, this was similar in color to Bon Bon, so I thought it made a good match. And these are all for donation to Casting Off the Cold, a local, a local organization that prov provides clothing, sometimes hats, scarves, uh, blankets to many organizations within York Region. So for anyone who's new, just letting you know, you can see information in the description box for where to find any patterns I use and for all the products I've purchased. So on my next video this Thursday, July 11th, I hope to show a completed prayer shawl, more ideas. Oh, I forgot. I was going to show some ideas for sparking holiday creativity. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, what I have is a, a selection of magazines that my mom gives to me. And I think she uses the magazines and then when she's uh, finished, she passes them along to me. And what I, what I feel is some of them, a small selection of them, are specifically for a holiday but there's quite a few that just are winter and autumn magazines and I noticed that a lot of the holidays that we celebrate come between I'd say September and the end of March or April and those are the colder months so what I did was I went through and I found all of the magazines to do with um, autumn and winter and realized that I can use many of these patterns and just pick colors to make those patterns with that suit to a holiday. So I hope that that idea will be helpful. The other thing that I thought was if I look through a particular book and I find a pattern 
that I think is interesting, I can then say, oh, that's a really nice um, kitchen idea. Let me look on Ravelry or look, look on um, other pattern sites and see if I can find something similar that has a pattern online that I'm interested in. So that's my way of sparking my holiday creativity is to open the field up and look at just general patterns and adjust them with season, seasonal patterns adjusted with holiday specific colors. So a hat that I like the pattern of, I might make it a Halloween hat by choosing Halloween colors as an example. So I hope that helps. And um, looking forward to seeing you all again and looking forward to more ideas for sparking holiday creativity next video and opening another present from Diane and giving everyone more chances to enter the Wheel of Names for the July 25th, two draws. Enjoy your crochet, enjoy your knitting, and I hope to see you soon on July 11th. Uh.